15 rounds.com. I am sitting here with 2015 Golden Gloves National Champion and Olympic Trials Champion Teofimo Lopez. How you doing, champ? I'm doing good. Um, you know, just came back from Olympic Trials and winning it. I feel good. I feel like I could go back in the gym right now. Absolutely. So a little background. Teo just came back from Reno, Nevada, fought three nights in a row, won all three nights and won the Olympic Trials. Tell us about your experience in Reno. Um, it was a good experience, you know, knowing that um, I was the youngest one at 132. And um, yeah, I had fun doing it, you know. It's Olympic trials, it's one in a million usually for USA. So um, when you actually go in there, it's, a, it's an honor already. So when you fight and you actually win the whole thing, you already know I'm the one. So it's a good feeling. Came into 2015, mm -hmm. you're 17 years old. Yeah. Uh, since turning elite in the elite division, you've won 19 and 0. Mm -hmm. You've won four major tournaments, including boxer of the tournament twice, won internationally. Mm -hmm. And now I've won a spot, right? I've earned a spot for the Olympic team. Yes. Tell us about your experience. Uh, wow. I mean, first, it's without God, you know. I believed in everything that he was doing for me, and he was guiding me. So me winning all that, it was just, I know it was through him. And it was meant for me. I had to. I had to come back with a bang. You know, it was my last year. And, you know, I did what I had to do. 19 and 0, that's, <laughs> that's one year almost. Almost one year without losing. So. Absolutely. So, went yeah. undefeated through the National Golden Gloves. Yes. Went undefeated through the Olympic trial qualifiers. And all the, by unanimous decision. All by unanimous decision. Won the boxer of the event then. Mm -hmm. You went to Canada, fought internationally and won. Yes. You fought a uh, domestically international opponent from England and you've yeah. won. Yeah. Now it brings you up to the Olympic trials, going for that number one spot in the U.S. Mm -hmm. for, to get on the Olympic team. I've seen you, Tio, since you're eight years old. Mm -hmm. and I know this has been a huge dream of yours to make the U.S. Oh, Olympic okay. team. Oh, you okay. now made it. However, there's an asterisk next to this. Oh, yeah. USA Boxing, along with Aiba, Aiba is the one that initiated, actually uh, chose Carlos Valderas as the Olympian before yes. the qualifiers, or before the trials, yes. which has never been done before. First time in a US history, a boxer who won the Olympic trials is not awarded a spot on the team. That cannot be nothing less than heartbreaking. Oh yeah, most definitely, knowing that you're fighting for an alternate, and you win the whole thing, and you know you're supposed to go, and all the political stuff happened. And it shouldn't go that way. I know back then in 2004, 2000, 1996, everything, we were winning so many gold medals and stuff because it was, they bring the best of the best and we fight and that's it. They take, USA will take the best of the best. Now we have an international company that is picking our fighters for USA. Right, and, and, and not only did you win all of your fights, you absolutely earned that number one spot. Yeah, most definitely. And, yeah. and, and, and to be honest with you, I watched it live and you most humbly accepted the win, mm -hmm. and now you have big news for the world because your dream as a young child has been to win a gold medal in the Olympics. Tell the world what your plan is. Plan is. Uh, my plan is to uh, represent Honduras. I already have my spot as it is right now. All I have to do is fight Continentals, which will be in March of next year. And um, yeah, so I already have a plan B, so that's why I'm not really hurt. You know, I always represent red, white, and blue, but my dream was to represent you know, USA and get a gold medal at the Olympics, and I still can't do it, but with another country in my family country. So it's a good feeling. You know, it really shows your heart of a, of a champion that wanting to fight too. You didn't get yeah. put down. They tried to put you down, but look, you're still gonna fight, and, and I truly believe you'll get that gold medal. Yeah, most definitely, you know. It's, um, it's just experience. You gotta have fun with it. So at the same time, you know, you can't let things bring you down. You gotta bring it, you know, turn it into positive, nothing negative, you know, so. There's always, um, God's always guiding me to the right path, so I know this is one of them. So. And how ironic would it be possibly meeting Gama, or possibly meeting Valdez yeah, in, in, in the finals for the gold medal? Oh, yeah. Oh, not finals, though, because, I mean, if you look at Becca, his records, uh, he's just been losing everything the first day. So, probably the first day, most definitely, I would love to fight him. Right. I know that he won't make it past that, but, yeah. Well, you're a humble champion, and like I said, mm -hmm. I've, I've watched you since you're a little kid. You're, you're now a grown man, and, and you've walked through competition this year, and you've mm -hmm. done it by winning. You've earned it by winning, and I know your next step is to go off and represent your, your family's home country of Honduras in the Olympics. I know your father has a lot to do with your, obviously, your whole development since you're a little kid. has been a huge supporter of you. has yeah. been in your corner since day one. You spend every day as your best friend. You know, tell me about how his involvement has helped you guide to get you where you're at. Um, I thank my father every day. Me and him, we're like one soul. Yeah. So when we're in the corner, he knows what I need to do and I know what I need to do at, at times too. So with him, I know I wouldn't be here as well, you know, but with the help of God. So um, 
With that being said, a lot of people, a lot of coaches, they, they say that they made the fighter when it's not really true. That we're born with it or we're blessed with it. We have it. All you have to do is guide them. You know, what they do is like, oh, I made them, so make 19 more. Make make 10 <laughs> right. more champions. But they can't. Right. So my father, what he's doing, he doesn't, he didn't make me. He guided me. Right. So that's the best way to say it. He guided me. And without him, I know I wouldn't be here. He pushed me to the limit all the time. You know, there was times where I didn't want to train, but I know I had to. Right. And now that I'm number one, we can't stop. No. We want to be number one, and we're going to keep doing it. So I thank my father through 100%, and I love him to death. Right. I love my mother as well. Right. You know, she's always been there as well. She's supportive now. She's uh, one of my supporters. I, ever since, you know, she's been with me now, like going to th these uh, events and stuff, I've been winning everything. So <laughs> I know it's Mama a good, a good luck charm. Yeah, she's a, a good luck charm. Push, right? So yeah. Well, I, I okay. admire the relationship you have with your parents, especially your father and all that he does um, mm -hmm. to help you push you through this. It's not an easy job. Um, you know, boxing is by far the hardest sport to stay maintained for. Mm -hmm. and, and you've walked through competition this year and you've mm -hmm. done it by winning, you've earned it by winning. And I know your next step is to go off and represent your, your family's home country of Honduras in the Olympics. I'm proud of you, my man. Right. The world's proud of you and we look forward to you doing your thing, Tio. Right. Thank all you, right, man. No problem. To all the young ones out there, just keep doing what you need to do. Believe in yourself. It's all in the mind. You know, all the hard work is in the gym. The easy part is fighting. So. <clears throat> Don't ever think that it's over, it's not over. I've lost plenty of fights as well. So don't think it's over. I'm over here now as an Olympian for 2016 and for the US. Now I'm just gonna represent for Honduras. So never think your dreams are over, it's always there. Right. Fighter fights to the end, there you go.